Hi guys, my name is Darren and I'm pleased to say that the Builder 04 has launched and it is absolutely amazing. I've got lots of people that are uh, coming across now guys and uh, I'm going to be making some of these videos to help you guys out, okay? So the first thing that I wanted to show you, just in case you don't quite use etc or you haven't, don't know your way around Builder Roll, because it's a new thing that's just come out, it came out on the 2nd of October, which was two days ago because uh, it's now the 4th of October now. So we're gonna go through this together. Okay guys, so basically this is what you would get, all right, if you're in the premium business um, package, okay? So you'll get all of the apps which you can play around with. And I do know now that they have released a free um, to join where you can play around with all of these, okay? There will be some limited access, but it gives you an idea of what you can use, etc. And then if you're interested, after you've built your funnels and you've built your websites, etc., then you can actually jump into that by going into the Builder or Premium sign, set yourself up, and all the funnels and everything that you've built, you can still use um, for your business. So this is really cool, and this is really going to help you. Bear in mind, guys, that you'd get 15 um, domains as well, which you can use when you go for the business premium and you there's a lot of other stuff there's so much stuff i can go through forever but what i want to do now guys i want to drill down at the moment on uh, how we can get to this special funnel which is called the cheetah funnel builder so basically click on the apps here all right and then we don't click you just hover then scroll across and now click on the cheetah funnel builder now what is absolutely amazing about this is it is designed to be a blueprint okay so we can literally pick a blueprint so we're going to go through this together create a new funnel so we're going to name our title so what are we going to name it so uh let's see what we're going to go for guys so the normal procedure would be to do your research first find out what you want to sell whether it's going to be a health um, niche uh, whether it's going to be a make money online niche anything like that okay so let's do, let's say we're going to do a leads funnel, okay? So we're going to put leads, I mean, it doesn't really matter because this is a test, okay? I'm going to put a test and then the theme is going to be leads test. And we're going to hit create funnel. Uh, and I oh, oh, I see, right. So the theme, I have to choose a business theme. So let's see, so I can have a course funnel, coach funnel, muscle mass, car funnel, agency funnel, app funnel business funnel um beer treatment stop smoking funnel white theme blue theme dark theme now bear in mind guys that all of these okay there's going to be so many more that are going to come out this is just literally just to get you started so if we go for a business funnel we have prepared several pages themes for you to use in your website choose the one that's best for your business okay now create funnel so i've got business funnel now create funnel Okay, that's better. Right, so it's now created my funnel. So what it's asked me to do now is, hello, welcome to the funnel construction area. In this button, you start building your funnels by clicking on a pop-up will open with it item and then be added to your funnel during the tour. Just click next and we'll help you to the place for the next page. So this is really cool. This is going to give you um, literally your own assigned assistant, which is popping up now, which is basically, if I got stuck now, if I wanted to build a webinar, a uh, membership information product. So if I wanted to have my membership area, sales process lead capture. So lead capture is the one that I want to go for. So it's now asking me, did I want a squeeze page, reverse squeeze page, lead magnet page, bridge page, webinar registration. And there are a few more down here as well, which I can't seem to get access to. Oh, that's because we've got to get clicked. Because this is up, it's not freeing this up. It's a bit similar when you get a little pop-up come up here in the corner and you and it, it just doesn't give you control of this screen. So just bear that in mind. So if we click on next, on this side there are categories, page of resource to facilitate the search. Okay, so it's just basically giving me a little bit of an up what's going on. And it says each item of these is a page. Some pages may contain specific applications and such pages when added to the application will be added as well. Upon hovering the mouse over an A plus button will appear when clicking this page will be added to your editor area. This is an edit area. Here you can organize your pages, applications, where drag and drop 
you can delete pages and start again you can connect pages and thus graphically show the entire flow so this is just amazing very similar to um, what JVZoo is like okay when you're setting up a product when you right click on any of the elements in the edited area the editing sidebar will open here you can configure your products so this is the normal side here um, your forms your webinars and also your, your members areas by clicking on the corresponding area and elements respectively when you want to add new pages to your funnel just click the plus button present it in most applications let's start building okay so here you can save your funnel and also generate the website for your flow you've created now what is absolutely amazing about this is when I've actually designed my 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 actual page okay I hit that generate button it's up and running guys it's done and all I have to do then is just put my URLs in and you know set up my um, email list etc and bang we're done and this is why it's so cool so this is our squeeze page okay so if I click on the squeeze page now which we've already got because I've chosen that so now I've got my form all right and what you'll find is if I click on plus it's now asking me what else I want to pin to my form so let's do webinar registration form okay so let's click on there and this webinar registration now it's a webinar registration and now I've got a form so you can see that I'm starting to build this okay so I've got a squeeze page I've then got a form and then the forms going to a webinar registration and now it's going back to a form and if I hit the plus again I can now add something else in so let's scroll through and see what we got I've got an OTO page down sell video sales letter sales page letter daily deal page so if I had a daily deal that was going in a in a in a um, an e-com store this would be amazing for that because you could have that where it just pops up product launch uh, product launch of the day checkout page upsell page landing page so this one here this one could be really cool so let's click on this and we and you can see look how easy I can just move these backwards and forwards so what have I got I've got my product launch okay I've got another form so I'm going to join that to there and this is my product launch order page and then I've got my checkout and then the checkout will go to the super checkout which you can set up your stripe account and then when you've got your stripe account all set up etc you're just all ready to go so you can actually do so really complicated um, applications with this okay so you can see that I've got my squeeze page going to a form then I've got my form going to a webinar okay then I've got a webinar going to another form then I've got my form going to my product launch and then my product launch if they buy into that will then go to checkout now this is just it's endless what you can do you know you can click on this you could do an upsell let's do an upsell so what now we've got an upsell okay guys and that upsell is obviously going to go it will go here wouldn't it and what I've got now is they've looked at the product launch they think no I'm not interested in the product launch it will go to the upsell and then after they've gone for the upsell it will go to the checkout after they purchased in fact I've already got it where it goes to the checkout so effectively this one here Let's get rid of that a minute. This one here needs to go there, doesn't it? To here. So the idea is they they purchase the first product. It then goes to the checkout where they paid, and then it opens up upsell one. Okay, and then if we want to, we can add upsell two. So this is amazing. It's, it's really really quick. And if you want to get rid of them, you just do this. Oh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, so I'm just going to take these out. Look at this, guys. Okay. How easy is that and then you think okay then let's see so I'm gonna have a squeeze to a form and I'm gonna to go to a webinar registration page it would be evergreen and made up for a certain niche or you could have a YouTube um, video with just the link from someone else's YouTube which is running on this with your form 
to promote the squeeze page that would work really well as well uh, providing you know it's, it's obviously creative comments because if you go into here and we do a search for let's do food and if we use the filter I want to make sure it's creative commons which is this one okay because if you use this one here everyone that actually uh, produces video gives you permission to use their videos themselves so you won't get into trouble for copyright okay guys um, where was I let's go back to what I was doing is the builder um, here we go uh, where were we got to find it now somewhere got a feeling I may have clicked off it well you get the gist you get what I was trying to show you really and you can add a members area really really quickly as well which is really good as well and that's obviously going to work really well so, so here we go guys it was already up that's why I couldn't find it so we've got a squeeze page form, form to a webinar registration page, registration page to the form. And then if you wanted to, you could add other things into that. We could change this, we get rid of that. Um, or I could change it, I think to change it. We take that out. Um, and then if we, let's take that out as well. And what's good about it is it just gives you the power to be able to choose all these things at the tip of your finger. Everything is within this page. This is a really good thing. So now I've got my webinar registration page and a form. So if I want to, if I want to put something on there, if I go to Cheetah Funnel Builder, and then I want to add, I've got my lead test which I built here. Okay, so I'm going to edit the funnel start the funnel and then I wanted to use a bridge page so let's use a bridge page let's move this up and then I wanted my bridge page after it goes to a form to go to a webinar process okay so this will be the webinar process which is this one here and then how am I going to join these together etc I'll rejoin that to there. Just wait that minute. Let's go back. You can see that I'm in experimental mode myself because I'm still playing around with these myself, just the same as you will be as well, which is really cool. And all you do literally is you just hit that plus button. So when I deleted that, okay. And I went back, I didn't need to. So if I click on this and delete that, and say, oh no, I've deleted that and I want that back, you just hit that plus button, and that takes you back to your squeeze page, reverse squeeze page, lead magnet, and your bridge page. So I'm gonna bring my bridge page right in here with my form. And if I get rid of that, okay. And then I've got these where I've now got my bridge page okay so I'm going to join that to there I'm then going to have a webinar page which is this one here let's have a look there's webinar registration let's use this one webinar confirm so there's the whole shebang here membership area thank you page step thank you page confirm email so for argument's sake, let's go ask campaign share page, calendar page. So we have bridge page, we have form. Let's have a calendar page. So they can then choose for the webinar. All right. And we want to join that to there. So they go from the bridge page to the form, to the calendar. And then the calendar date will then take you to the webinar. Okay, so let's do the webinar now. So we click on click on this plus button. And I'm going to look for the webinar process, which is this one here. 
I'm just going to move that up there like that. And we're going to put the form there like that. And we're going to move this to there. And then the bridge page, obviously, is a sales page. So we're going to have a product. So let's put a product in there. So I'm just going to click on the plus again. Now, any of these pluses you can do. You don't have to just click on that one. We could click on this plus here. And I'm going to have a sales process. So OTO, down sale, video sales letter, sales letter page, product launch, OTO, product launch, checkout page, upsell. Let's do a daily deal. I'm going to put that down there. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to join to the bridge page. I see this how it does it, is it? Oh, I see. So that's how it joins it. Right. So, so now what we've got is we've got the bridge page, go into a form, go into a calendar, confirmation of the calendar, go into a webinar registration page, go into a form, and then we would then be able to have perhaps a sales letter. So let's let's have a look at and see what we can do here for the next thing. But look how quick, look how quick I've just designed this. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy quick. So, um, webinar, thank you. Let's do a thank you page. Right, so thank you page. Um, so step thank you, which means that you need to confirm your email. So let's do that. So you want email confirmation, so we know then that it's going to be whitelisted. And then we want another one, which is going to be the th thank you page, which is going there like that. We're going to join that together like that. And that is just how amazing it is. And you could, if you want, you could have a breakdown here and you could have like a little giveaway to say thank you for confirming your email address and then go back to thank you. And then basically, all this is done and done, ready, all right? We push the generate button. Your website is generated. Your website has been successfully generated. You can generate a new website either by closing the pop-up to continue editing your funnel or by clicking on the button below to go to the website and finalizing customer settings. Go to website. Now, it's built, it's up and running. So we need to do now is every single one of these pages you just go in, they're already configured. Everything is done. So the bridge page, right, I just click on edit, and now I can put graphics in, now I can put my copyright, now I can put everything that I need to put in there. It's all built up and running. And it's just a few tweaks, and you have got a leads page just completely designed and complex. How complex was the design that I just did? You try doing that before on any funnel builder, and you would be pulling your hair out for a while trying to get it all to work. But this is all built. It's all up and running. It's all ready for you to work. So you've got here, insert, insert title content here. This is to my next step or access your product. So basically, if I was to preview, and we click on this next product, this would be the one that would take me to the next page. Now you obviously have to assign those buttons, which is really easy to do. All you basically do is because you've already built your funnel, is you click on there, And then you would click multiple actions, set link, and this one here is edit element. So if you wanted to change what this is, if you wanted to make sure that this is, uh, you know, the next step, or you know, grab this amazing product now, you can change all this. All you need to do is just click on that until this comes up. Click on that, go to headline, and just change this. Go to amazing product and then click off and then you'd give you reasons why they should go to the next product which is right here remind your customers why you should take the next step here so you need a nice uh, hook something to get them going something that's going to give them some information you could have a video tutorial where you can talk to them about something which I'm like doing now and this is an amazing amazing thing to set up and then what you do then is this page then will link to. So I would click on the link page 
and then instantly all the pages are already here okay so this is the daily deal page at the moment so our first page which was our bridge page which was this one is now going to the daily deal page or you can have it going to the calendar page so you can have it so you you, you know you don't have to put it to these and then you've got all of this which you can join it you can have a rotation banner you can have a tag you can have phone email super checkout download video anchor pop-up build all auto tags open in a parent which means you can open it into an iframe and an iframe you can put videos in and stuff like that uh, you could have your WordPress blog there's just so much you can do and then you click select and then you'd hit save so now we've got that page and then we're going to say that's fine so that page now if we go to the website you can see that it's the demo funnel at the moment is coming up with this so basically what you do is you at the moment we've got it set where the calendar comes up straight away but we want it so the bridge page comes up first don't we so all we need to do is we close that if we go to preview and then if we click on this what that should do now is that should open up that page but sometimes you'll find that because you haven't published it it won't work so don't think it's not because it's not working it's because you haven't finished it yet it's because the other side doesn't know what it's doing so you know there's a few things that you've got to set up but it just takes out all the legwork it's just gonna be so much easier for you guys so this is just a quick demo all right of the funnel builder how quick it is to set it all up etc how it's going to really help you and obviously if you want to go to pages you just click on here there's the calendar page uh, so we'll just leave and it's now going to go to the calendar page where you can adjust this and adapt this and you can put background imaging and stuff like that it's not just as clear cut as that and to change it you just click on this and then you've got your general settings you've got your border you've got animation where you can have this where it jumps around when people go near it colors etc general settings which is going to give you the full width and there's so much you can do with this guys okay and then if you click on this bit here this is where you can change other stuff with it as well so that's that and then there's the other bit here where your webinar registration page just leave and you can adjust things as well very very easily in here so this is the webinar registration page you got an email first name registered name and then it's going to go to the calendar etc or it's the calendar and then it's going to go to this and then you would go to the webinar itself or you'd go to the product page itself and then there's another one which is daily deal page let's just leave this is going to be the day and then everything you see on the page is full full auto adjustable you can adjust everything on the page okay you can adjust the color you can adjust all this you can adjust all this you can adjust this here just you know image literally just click on it and you click on this first and that opens up this box here and then click on general settings and then change image and then you could change that image for something else. If you go to canva.com, uh, you can create your own images and then just superimpose these images, upload them. As long as it's in a JPEG format, it will go straight back into here. And then you can just adjust the size, etc., by moving it backwards and forwards. Fully configurable. So it's going to really, really work well. And then the next one, which is confirm email address. And here you could have a, like a little caption as well, like if you've got a high end product. Um, that you want to sell you could put oh hi thanks for um, whitelisting your email and then you could put uh, really happy that you know that, that you've decided to take this next step as a gift when you um, have whitelisted it please let me know by email and then I'll send you some bonuses okay guys that's a really good way of doing it and then you could also have like a another uh, high-end sell down here of or or some products within built inside the thanks for emailing list that's what I do 
and that really seems to convert quite well because I've already got confidence in you anyway because you've already showed them what a great product and the value etc and benefits so they trust you which is good because I'm a trustworthy person and then you get the thank you page and the thank you page could be just a basic thank you page or it could just be you know whatever you want it to be so here look insert your content here congratulations and then obviously click on here and that's going to take them to whatever you want them to go to so this is just a breakdown of the amazing cheetah funnel builder and um, we're only just stepping on it really there's so much you can do it's also got where you can look at ipad settings as well you can look into see now we're in an ipad view now we can look where we're looking in the phone so this is what it will look like when we're on the phone and then back to computer so it is an amazing amazing product and um, you know you're going to have so much fun with this you're going to be able to design so many amazing funnels that other people can't even think about you know you could be so complex with these uh, and that's what's really going to stand out so that's it guys um, that's a tutorial anyway on the new funnel builder um, it's quite a brief one but it will give you some idea of what I'm doing you'll be able to see what I was doing etc and the mistakes that I was doing etc because uh, that's the best way to learn cheers guys